this is Tracy from Northeast Tarot and welcome to your April 2018 monthly tarot forecast. This is for Leo Sun, Leo Moon, and Leo Rising Signs. So Leo, for this reading, I'm using the Thelema Tarot deck along with the Oracle of the Unicorns and then also the Romance Angel Oracle cards as well. Alright Leo, so at the bottom of the deck I have the Four of Swords and this is what I'm using as the overall energy for you guys for the month of April. So we have the Four of Swords. Four of Swords um, you know, can mean several different things. It is a healing energy so there could be some Leos that maybe you're recovering or healing from something. Um, the Four of Swords for me it's a patient energy. Some of you could be waiting on something. Uh, there could be other Leos that maybe you're taking some downtime. Maybe you're going on vacation in the month of April or you will be taking a lot of, um, you know, maybe you time with the Four of Swords, spending more time alone here in the month of April. Sometimes that's very much needed. That's not a bad thing. Um, right at the center, we do have the Eight of Wands. Very interesting. Eight of Wands crossed by the Page of Wands. So... For those of you that are maybe taking a vacation or going to be taking some you time, it, poss it might be possible that maybe some of you at the end of March when I'm filming this or right at the start of April, maybe there's a lot going on with the Eight of Wands. Maybe you're traveling a lot. There could be a lot happening with the Eight of Wands. It can be kind of a chaotic energy. So maybe some of you, you have a lot going on. And so therefore, maybe you are going to make it a priority to have some sort of downtime, a break to be able to rest or recharge for some of you. Eight of Wands, Page of Wands, uh, it could be that some of you are going on like a new adventure with the Page of Wands. This could be a new adventure. Um, there could be messages coming to you. Lots of messages right at the start of the month, hearing something uh, exciting, something very positive. Could be something you were waiting on for quite some time. Often for me with the Page of Wands, if, if it's in regards to news or communication, it was news that you had to wait on. And maybe it's coming in suddenly for some of you. Uh, there could be, again, a lot going on right at the, the start of the month. Um, at your foundation, I have the Three of Wands, which can also be a patient energy. So I think that some of you possibly started something new, working very hard, putting a lot of time and energy into this, but waiting for your ships to come in. Threes are all about growth and expansion. So I think that some of you were definitely working very hard in order for something to grow or something to happen here. And also I think you were very patient as far as you know reaching a goal your ships coming in but definitely working very hard and then in the more recent past we do have the star which is an optimistic energy so that's really good um you know some of you very optimistic positive but your hard work may be paying off for some of you definitely being divinely uh, inspired or encouraged for some of you the star is also another healing energy. For me, it's a spiritual energy. It can confirm that some of you, you know, you're on the right path. What it is that you're, you know, working so hard on, you're on the right path. You know, stay positive. Keep the faith. Keep working hard. Uh, and maybe some of you are even moving towards some sort of wish come true here. And then crowning you, we do have the Eight of Pentacles. So a couple of eights here in this spread. So eights for me are a karmic number. So again, what it is that you're working on, Leo, stay focused, um, stay positive, uh, and those, those karmic rewards will come to you. Eight of pentacles, it definitely could be financial. It could be career for, for some of you. Um, you know, maybe some of you have like a job opportunity. Could be a new job for, for some of you and... You know, if that's the case with the Four of Swords, maybe some of you were laid off or something like that. Um, there could be some Leos that are landing a new job or moving up within the company that you already work for. Uh, but some of you are very focused on, again, something. That could be your job, but for those of you that don't work for a living, it could be a project, it could be something else something else 
Again, something that you've been devoting a lot of time and energy to, and you're very focused upon that here, right at the start of the month. And then what's interesting is around the second week in the near future, I have the Seven of Swords. So very interesting energy. I will clarify this uh, later on, but Seven of Swords, it's not always negative. I just want to make that clear. You know, if it is in the negative sense, it can be like a shady sort of energy, someone who's acting shady, um, sneaking around, trying trying to get away with something, it can be deception. Um, but, you know, it also can represent maybe you taking some sort of risk. It's a very independent energy. It's a risky energy. It can be you maybe moving forward independently, taking some sort of action, working on something yourself here. Uh, and maybe it is a little risky. So, you know, it will be different for all of you. Again, I'm going to clarify this. And then in the position of your power, I do have the two of wands. So, you know, around the second, third week, you are very focused on the future. Definitely making a lot of plans for the future. Very, very focused on the future. And it could be that some of you are even making, you know, maybe a very important decision at this time. Uh, but very, very focused on the future and for some of you what it is that you've been working so hard on. In the position of how those around you are viewing you, I have the Knight of Swords. So this can be like friends, family, significant other, you know, this is how they're viewing you. We have the Knight of Swords, which is someone who's charging forward. Can be someone who's really moving towards something very, very quickly and for some of you, maybe moving forward independently, maybe taking some sort of risk, uh, but this is charging forward, moving forward very, very quickly. And maybe again, for, for some of you, you know, it could be that things are happening very quickly or uh, some sort of chaotic energy that you're dealing with. But also I do always see the Knight of Swords as someone who is a little impatient. You know, he's ready, he wants to charge forward. So for those of you that, it's not a chaotic energy and you are kind of left waiting with that four of swords energy you know you might start to feel a little impatient there for a few of you here at this time or at least maybe people around you are viewing you as as a little impatient that's a possibility and then in the hopes and fears i do have the nine of swords here so you have some swords cards here in the spread leo so just make sure that you're staying out of your head. You're not overthinking things. You know, keep yourself distracted and focused on what it is that you're working on. You know, stay positive. You have the star in the recent past, which is really good. It's an optimistic energy. This is in, this is in the fears position. So it is a fear, lack of sleep, um, overly worrying about something. You know, fear is getting the best of you. It is just a fear. Um, so... Just make sure that, you know, you're staying positive, that you're taking, you know, extra good care of yourself at this time. Make sure you are getting enough sleep and not overly, you know, thinking about something or worrying about something, definitely. And then energy that you're actually leaving the month of April with, very interesting. Moving into May, you have the hanged man. Now, the hanged man can mean several different things. Of course, it can be that temporary weight, that limbo period. But it also can represent you seeing something from a different perspective. Um, because we have the Four of Swords as the overall energy, which can be like a break, definitely for some of you. Maybe some of you are taking a step back, looking at the larger picture, figuring things out. The Hanged Man is someone who is becoming enlightened. So maybe some of you are seeing something clearly or seeing something from a different perspective here. So it's not a negative energy by any means. Um, and then, of course, for other Leos, you might be temporarily maybe waiting on someone or something. But let's do some clarifying here. First, I'm going to take a look at the Seven of Swords, which is energy that's coming up around the second week for Leo. Clarifying the Seven of Swords for Leo. Let's take a look at the Seven of Swords for Leo. Clarifying the Seven of Swords for Leo. I 
Interesting. All right, let's take a look at the Hanged Man energy that you're leaving the month of April with, Leo. Let's take a look at the Hanged Man for Leo. So first, taking a look at the Seven of Swords, Leo, we have the Eight of Rods, the Nine of Cups, and the Seven of Cups. So you have the Eight of Rods again. Um, so it's in regards to some sort of forward movement, travel. I think that some of you have some options in front of you, Seven of Cups, choices on the table, options in front of you. Um, you might need to take some sort of risk. Again, it's a risky, it's an independent energy. It's not always negative. So some of you have options or choices on the table. This, you know, can be a little bit of an ungrounded energy. So definitely, and that explains, you know, why we have the Four of Swords as the overall energy for some of you. Some of you will need to meditate or spend some time alone. Ground yourself because you might have some important decisions that you have to make here at this time. And so you have to look at all the options, look at all the choices in front of you, um, and then maybe make some moves here. Um, but there is going to be news. So for some of you, start of the month, uh, could be even around the second week here. We have news. We have messages coming in. It's incredibly positive. It's, it, it can certainly be a wish coming true for some of you, or it's just something that's going to you know make you incredibly happy. Nine of Cups. Uh, emotional abundance so we have this great energy messages coming in for some of you like an option that's opening up for you uh, here at this time some of you will act independently or maybe have to take some sort of risk in regards to this um, you know so that explains why we have this two of wands here in the position of your power because you're focused on the future and some of you will have an important decision to make just don't act too hastily here. This is how those around you are viewing you. So don't act too hastily here. Um, but it's very positive. It's very, very positive. And then energy that you're leaving the month with, we actually have the Star Judgment and the King of Rods clarifying this hanged man here. Which, it's nice because you have the Star twice you know, spiritual energy around you, definitely uh, healing energy with the star and judgment, very powerful healing energy for some of you. So maybe some of you went through something, but you're recovering, you're healing. Uh, and then we have this fire sign energy here. So no matter if you're male or female, definitely can be you, Leo, um, rising up from the ashes, being reborn in a sense, recovering with something, healing. Um, so it's wonderful. But we have this King of Rods looking directly at judgment. So again, maybe a decision that's very significant here at this time. If you, Leo, are making a decision, you're going to make the right decision. This is confirming you're on the right path. You will make the right decision. And you are definitely being spiritually guided here and protected at this time. Trust your instincts. Listen to your intuition. You know, that I'm getting very clearly here. You need to really... Look for the signs, the signals from your angels, your guides. Uh, pay attention. Look for those little synchronicities. But you're on the right path here. Some of you have a decision that you need to make. Um, but you will make the right decision here. Other Leos, you know, maybe this is some downtime at this time a break from work you know a vacation even if it's like a three-day vacation whatever it may be i think that some of you are taking a break here this is that you know this is that powerful healing energy and i think that for some of you it's needed it's actually very much needed at this time but let's pull you an additional guidance card Maybe some of you have been just working, 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 and right at the end of the month is when maybe you're going to be taking a break. But let's see, additional guidance for Leo. What else does Leo need to know for the month of April? Leo, Sun, Moon, and Rising signs. Leo, what else does Leo need to know? All right. Wow. And then I'm also pulling you, Leo, an additional Romance Angel Oracle card. 
Um, but over on Vimeo, if you're interested, I do have the April Love Tarot Forecast posted over on Vimeo. That link is below. And that's a reading that's focusing on love and relationship matters for you guys for the entire month of April. Interesting. Okay, so the overall guidance card that I have for you, Leo, is actually celebration. A positive outcome is assured. Celebrate your success. Enjoy your achievements. Beautiful. So your ships are coming in. You've been working very, very hard. Your ships are coming in. You will have lots to celebrate here in the month of April. For those of you, because you do have some swords, card, swords cards here in the spread, which for me is mental energy. So for those Leos that were stressing or worrying a lot here, you know, there's really no need to worry. A positive outcome is assured. Celebrate your success. Enjoy your achievements. Beautiful, beautiful. Stay optimistic. And then focusing on love and relationship matters, we actually have let go of control issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. So those of you on the relationship front, maybe needing to go with the flow. Let go of control issues is, is speaking about kind of surrendering and going with the flow, allowing things to happen, allowing things to kind of take their natural course. So some of you release control you know, if you've wanted something to happen in a particular way, you know, maybe, um, you know, move in together or, you know, someone to commit to, whatever it may be, just basically maybe needing to go with the flow a little bit here in April, needing to surrender and, and you know, just see what happens, you know, because sometimes we want things to happen in a particular way. Um, but when you, when we surrender and release control, yes, things might happen in a different way than you planned, but the outcome is still just as beautiful, you know, or you're still reaching that goal. So for some of you on the relationship front, just need to surrender and need to go with the flow, need to be more open. Okay. Leo, so I hope that you found this reading helpful. If you are not subscribed to me here on YouTube, please be sure to subscribe. If you are interested in having a private reading, please check out northeasttarot.com. I wish you all a great month. Take care.